All right. So for week 14, we're coming up on, okay, if we head into modules. All right. Um, if we take a look at the instructions for week 14, it's going to tell us what we're going to need to do. Okay. Um, you have your brief description. Okay. Here's your vocab terms um, to go look at for a few minutes. Um, you're going to quiz on these the following week. So week 15, you'll have a, uh, a brief quiz over vocab and the information we've learned. Okay. Uh, there's a short video on Venezuela if you would like to watch it, not required, but is there if you want to watch it. And then your to-do list. All right, these are the three assignments that we have to um, complete. All right, um, so you have the physical features for uh, Central and South America. All right, you got to get an 80% or higher in puzzle over Venezuela. Okay, you will watch that and complete um, each question while watching the video. And then Venezuela issues and possible solutions, which um, basically you are coming up with uh, the reasons for the problem and then uh, possible solutions for that issue that you select. But that will be covered in the Google Slides document. So I'm going to go into each assignment a little bit more so you understand how to complete that. And here we go. All right, for the map review, so if we click on physical features of Central and South America map review. We're going to go ahead and open up this link. Which then there are 16 physical features that you're going to need to select. Right. And um, you're going to have to click on the correct ones. There we go. Okay. Um, please make sure because right there, like I thought that was the Andes Mountains, um, but actually that is a lake. Um, so just be careful when you are selecting these, uh, remember you need an 80% or higher, uh, in order to, um, screenshot it and turn it in. Okay. Um, so please make sure we're getting that percentage or higher. So for your Ed puzzle or Venezuela, you're going to load the Ed puzzle in a new window. All right. You're going to play it, watch it, answer it. Um, remember if you missed um, a piece of information and you don't know the answer, uh, you can obviously rewind and uh, rewatch that uh, assignment or that portion of the video so that uh, you can get that question correct. Please don't rush through it. Uh, answer each question to the best of your ability. If you need any help or have any questions or have any complications with that assignment, please feel free to reach out. For your last assignment, the Venezuelan issues and possible solutions. You are tasked with um, basically a problem solving assignment. First, we are going to click on the Venezuelan slides. Go ahead and open that up. And uh, it's only a few slides long, all right, but there's going to be a timeline and an explanation uh, that goes along with this. Um, so, um, there starts in 1999 with the election of Hugo Chavez. Uh, understand uh, this is covering Venezuela, who is very, uh, the country has a, a mass amount of oil uh, that <clears throat> they can extract from the ground in their country, all right, making them uh, the ability to make a lot of money, but right now they're in a state of crisis. So, we're going to take a look at why that is occurring. So, here are two slides over um, basically the timeline between 1999 to 2020, all right? And then here are the main issues in Venezuela, which if you've watched the Ed Puzzle, you will know uh, that these are some of your major problems, food shortage, medicine shortage, poverty, political corruption, suffering, oil industry, and a lack of diversity of the economy, all right? Now, for those of you that are remote learners, are all online, Okay, you're going to select one of these and you're going to need to answer question two, A through E. Okay, and you're going to answer that in the text box of the Canvas assignment. When we get into Canvas, all right, remember you are only picking one issue, whether it be food shortage, medicine shortage, poverty, political corruption, suffering, oil industry, or lack of diversity of the economy. 
uh, doesn't matter to me. Just make sure you pick one issue. So let's say you pick poverty. Okay. So when we get to number two, so two, section one here, how did this become a serious problem? Okay, so how did poverty become a serious issue in Venezuela? Because there for a good 10 years, poverty uh, was dramatically low under President Chavez. So why now is there so much poverty in the country? Then why is the problem still occurring? So what issues are they not addressing? Three, what should be done to fix the problem? Okay, what do you think can be done to fix the high poverty rate? Because right now, there's around an 80 to 90% rate of those in poverty in Venezuela. That is that serious of an issue right now. Then who do you think will help fix this problem? Okay, is this going to be a country that helps um, bring in aid? Is this an organization that will invest money? Um, or is it a company that's going to bring jobs? I mean, you tell me. All right, what do you think will happen? All right, and then five, what changes will Venezuelan leaders have to make to get help? All right, so you need to answer all five of those questions. You can do this on your own. You can research and try to figure out what are the best uh, approaches to fixing these issues. All right, I'm, I'm leaving it open to you. All right, but you need to answer all five of those questions in the text box. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, but that is all three of your assignments for this week.